Hi there, are you trying to get your photos from your Android phone over to your PC? Join me now and I'll walk you through it. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology where our team has helped people save millions of photos over the past 10 years. Recently, we surveyed our clients to find out a little bit about their photo saving habits and 95% of people who responded said they wanted to save their photos on their computer, which is good because that's what we teach. Before we connect this phone to the computer, I want to show you a few things on your Android phone. We're going to go into the Photos app. And this is the Google Photos app, all right? If you're using an Android, most likely, this is where your pictures are ending up and you're backing them up to Google Photos Online. Just to be sure, you can click on your icon, your account icon at the top right corner and you can see if the backup is on. If it's not, it'll say something like backup now. All right. Next, I just wanted to kind of show you, we're in this all photos view. Now, <laughs> this is my demo phone, so this isn't the phone that I have all my pictures on, just so you know. All right, we're looking at the all photos view and you can see across the top that Google does a nice job of giving you some things to look at. They'll even play around with your pictures, like adding a style, etc. Mostly we just care about the pictures as we took them. Along the bottom, you can see photos, memories, and library. We're gonna click on library and I want you to notice this photos on device. This is the area where you can tell what is actually being stored on your phone that you'll be able to copy over to your computer. The albums are albums that you've made on your phone and you might be able to view them up in your Google Photos account online on your computer. Albums have nothing to do with folders on your computer, all right? Let's connect this to the laptop, okay? We use a USB-C cable now because technology is marching on and USB cables are out of date, I guess. All right, you can see that I've connected my Android phone, which is a Pixel 4 XL. All right, it showed up here, but nothing is in there. So I have to go back to my, my Android phone and tell it to share those folders. So the way we do that is we look for uh, where it says charging this device via USB uh, cable. And we'll click on settings. So we're gonna just swipe down from the top and we need to look for this little drop down arrow here. It says charging this device via USB. If we click that drop down and then tap for more options, we can then check file transfer. So now you can see on my window here that the internal shared storage folder is uh, popping up. So when I double click on it, I can go right to my DCIM folder because I guess that's how it was set up on your old cameras and your camera cards, you had a DCIM folder. When I click in there, I can see my camera and now, you'll notice that all of my pictures are populating. So we're gonna have to let this run a little bit. It won't take too long because I only have 600 pictures on here or so. All right, what I notice is that it just displays your pictures in chronological order here. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see my newest pictures. So the next step is really to uh, right click on the File Explorer and get a new window up. You definitely want to have two windows up when working with pictures, it just makes it really easy. So I'll go to my pictures folder and I can make a new folder by right clicking and I'll just call this, you know, today's date 2024-01-26 and Android phone, whoops transfer all right and i i could just copy the 2024 pictures if i wanted and and i'll just do that for our purposes i'll do 2023 and 2024 and when i select the pictures that i want then i click on one and drag them 
So you see how it's dragging and it says copy to. That means we're copying them from the phone to this folder and that's it. The photos are still living on the, the Android phone. All right. So we had the camera folder. Now, what about those other folders? There was um, the messages. So here is another folder on that internal shared storage of the, the phone and its pictures. And the messages are all in there. All of the photos that you've been texted in your messages show up here. So you could go and copy these out if you wanted. Here are the screenshots that you might have taken. You can copy those out if you like. The other folder that was on the phone was the downloads folder. So to get to those photos, we go to the download folder. And now you can see it's mixed in with everything else that we've downloaded. One easy way to just get the pictures out is to go to the view tab and then group by type. <laughs> there we go. Now it's really easy to see. So there's only six pictures, seven pictures here to copy over. So you can select them and do the same thing over to that folder. All right. We like to recommend that you save your photos in folders chronologically. And I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. Over here on my desktop, I have a master family photos folder. So this is um, just kind of for demonstrations purposes. But you can see the 2022 photos. I have a month for each, a folder for each month. And it works really nicely. Once you have your folders set up, then you can upload them if you like to forever, which I'll show you what that looks like. So here I am in the 2022 photos in my forever account and you can see I have them nice and neat cleaned up and ready to make a photo book or a calendar or just enjoy some time when I have a moment to pour through my memories. And we also know that there's a lot of moving parts to saving your pictures. So if you need like a map, we've got a roadmap that you can download as well. And you can see the link for that down in the description. We really encourage people to save their photos monthly so that you can keep up with your pictures instead of copying like all 600 over at once. If you want to learn um, more about saving photos monthly, I've got a video link up above. That's it for now. We'll see you the next time.